So there's a problem with one of the very common Merge by Amazon features that a lot of you have probably used before while uploading. I haven't really used this feature in a long time due to this problem, but I was never aware that it applies to other people as well. I'd forgotten about it and um, quite frankly, just never thought to make a video about this. However, recently in my Discord server, which is always linked in the description, by the way, it's free to join and you can join into the discussion right there. Someone pointed out to me that one of their products, which had been uploaded to Merge for quite a while and had been getting a lot of sales, got rejected while they used the automatic translation feature. Now, what happens when you use that feature? In theory, your English listing gets translated into all of the other languages, German, French, Spanish, Italian. Those translations get reviewed and either rejected or accepted. If you do get a rejection from those translated listings, that is not bad for your account. It doesn't affect it. Merge for Amazon has stated this specifically that you, you won't get your account terminated for something that Amazon translated, right? However, what they don't mention and what I don't think a lot of people know about is that your English listing gets reviewed as well. Now, you might think that's not a problem because it initially got got through, it wasn't rejected, but what about old listings? This has happened to me before and specifically to one of my best selling products of all time. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll push this to all of the other marketplaces. I'll just enable the translation and suddenly all of my products were rejected, including the English ones. It could happen for a simple reason, like you still have the word gift in your title, which a couple of years ago was totally fine. Amazon wasn't bothered about it. So you could submit products with the word gift in there and you wouldn't get a rejection. Nowadays, they don't really want you to do that. And most of the time, if you include that word in your title, Amazon will reject your submission. So that means if you let Amazon translate older products, uh, it could also be adult humor topics, which uh, used to be fine, but now they're a bit funny with, they might get rejected just from you translating the listing data for the other marketplaces. So be really careful here um, because while you might think your English listing is fine, it could still get a rejection if you push it to other marketplaces. That's the reason why I stopped using that feature a while back. I would recommend to you um, unless you're 100% sure that your English listing is fine and, and won't get rejected if it gets reviewed again, not to bother with that feature. Um, I've uploaded thousands and thousands of products to the other marketplaces, um, mainly through the automatic upload that I still have enabled because I've never had trouble with that. You know, where, where Amazon just automatically takes some of your old products and then pushes them to the marketplaces. I've never had gotten rejections through this process. But yes, yeah, so I've got thousands of uh, t-shirts and other products up on those international marketplaces and I rarely get any sales. Now granted all of my designs are English, they're optimized for English speaking countries, however putting in the extra effort to push all of those products with the automatic translation I think poses too much of a threat or a risk to get additional rejections which um, could be really bad for your account so definitely be careful there. Um, if you're using that feature, it could get you into some trouble potentially. Yeah, un unless you focus on those other marketplaces and you're certain you won't get rejections, it, it might be worth just ignoring that automatic translation feature altogether. Mm -hmm.